One note on uh, these larger areas like this where it's worn down to the wood, I tend to like to prime these. And what I mean by that is I'm just going to paint this area white. Uh, what that does is it helps to seal off the wood so that when I add the color, um, it won't take as many coats and it'll be a more vibrant color with the white backing. Uh, just like if you were priming your walls in your house. Alright, so after we did all the little uh, graining touch-ups that we needed to do on the play field, I went around the whole play field and any of the small areas I touched up, which left us with the bigger areas to touch up. So the biggest area I had was this area right here, right off the slingshot. This was totally worn down the wood. So, first of all, you don't even really know what's supposed to be there. So what I did is I went on the internet and I found a picture of a good play field. And I printed that picture out so that I can have it right here with me. And now I know what that area looks like. So once I know what that area looks like, what I did is I used a fine tip Sharpie. And I just penciled in with this fine tip Sharpie the area that I needed to repaint. Just put all the lines in. That way I'm able to kind of paint by number. Uh, just paint within the lines. So I laid that out with the Sharpie. And then after that I painted the black up to the lines. Just to get the black all painted in. And then I took just some white acrylic and I primed the areas that are going to have a color to it with the white. And then after that dried, I painted the orange and the red here. Now the color match on your smaller areas, the color match isn't that important. Uh, as long as you're close enough. On a bigger area like this, the color match is more important. So, in my little 99 cent craft tub here, I mix, I just play around with the colors in here and then when I get it close I just painted the color onto the uh, a piece of Lexon, spare piece of Lexon I had laying around and I let that dry because these acrylic paints are going to dry darker so let that dry you can speed it along a little bit with a hair dryer and then you can take this Lexon and lay it right on your play field and see how close you are with your match and then once your match is good you can paint it on now as far as what I painted it with, I really only use for my Playfield touching two brushes. I use a fine tip brush and kind of a flat larger span brush. Uh, the larger span brush is good for big areas like this. You're able to smooth it out a lot more with this brush and then all your fine work with this fine brush. And the other thing I did for the bigger areas is I just put a dab of this uh, liquid extender in. Just to thin it, just a tick. What that does is it helps to eliminate the brush strokes. Uh, it allows you to kind of really smooth that out so you really don't notice any brush strokes in it. So that's what we did for areas like that. I also that. had, uh, if you recall from earlier spots in the video here, I had a big line uh, worn down the wood right here. So I had to do the same thing. I had to uh, refer to my little picture here of this area and again I sharpied in what it's supposed to look like and then I painted the color and then I came back with the fine brush and put the black lines in and it, it came out pretty good I am nowhere near an artist uh, you don't really need to be an artist to do this uh, anything's gonna look better than the bare wood if you take your time uh, you'll be able to you know be pretty happy with your results Considering how bad this play field is, I'm pretty happy with the results. Now the other thing I had a lot of wear on was all the inserts. And on this particular game, unlike a lot of the other games I've touched up, around the inserts there's actually three colors. There's a darker orange, and then this lighter yellowish orange, and then the black key line. So this was totally impossible to get really good, but I did the best I could. And for the areas that were worn, worn completely down the wood, what I did is at the craft store get one of these little circle templates and what you can, what I did with the circle template is you put it over your insert, find the right size circle and then with the fine tooth, uh, fine point sharpie again you can kind of uh, you know draw it out so that allows you to have something 
to follow with your paintbrush. You know, if you didn't do this first, you'd just be freehanding it. It'd be hard to get it right. So this makes it a lot easier. Uh, just don't use Sharpie for any of your touch-ups. Uh, if you use Sharpie for any of your touch-ups, when you lay your clear coat on, the Sharpie is going to run. So make sure anything you did in Sharpie, you come back and you paint it with the black uh, acrylic paint or whatever color acrylic paint you're going to do. So now I'm pretty much done with this play, play field. I'm pretty happy. It's the best of my ability. And it looks pretty good.